Okay, Odie, let's see if you're worthy of being the Caped Avenger's high-performance mode of transportation. Go. Faster. 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 All right now, stop! Seat belt. The Caped Avenger needs a seat belt. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. The freak you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Hey you, the kid who missed last week's show. You better have a good excuse. In bed? On a beautiful day like this? I believe in letting the fates guide my life. Sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep. Tree, fate. Some people don't believe in fate. What else can go wrong today? Well, ask a bonehead question. You want me to throw the ball? And then you'll go fetch it and bring it back to me to throw again? And we'll do this all day back and forth, back and forth? There. That ought to keep you busy for a while. All that work made me hungry. I need food. Pie is food. Excuse me, I believe you have my pie. Please return it. What did you say? I said, enjoy the pie. See you around, cat. Gee, that wasn't fair. I stole that pie first. I don't... Garfield, are you all right? Auntie M, Auntie M, are we still in Kansas? Garfield. <laughs> Odie, fetch me the special Garfield first aid kit. Garfield? Who's Garfield? Here, the first aid kit has a delicious lasagna in it. Lasagna? Take it away. Too many calories and cholesterol. How about a nice salad with low-calorie dressing? Boy, I'm overweight. And this fur coat I'm wearing is pretty shabby. Something's wrong, Odie. Something's terribly wrong. Ah! Oh, apart from the bump on his head, he seems to be in fine shape. What makes you think he's lost his memory? He won't eat, he won't sleep, he doesn't beat up on Odie or claw the furniture. And you want me to restore his memory? Hey, uh, let me think about this for a second. <laughs> You're right, Odie. We want our old friend Garfield back. Well, it may just wear off, or something familiar may jog him back to his old self. Are you sure I'm not due for my shots? Okay, remember, Odie, we have to remind Garfield of who he is. Oh, Garfield? Why do you keep calling me that? Look! 
Odie is on the edge of the table. It would be so mean if someone were to shove Odie off that table. Say no more. I know what to do. <laughs> it's working. Shoving Odie off the table is Garfield's favorite sport. He's going to do it. You shouldn't stand near the edge like that, puppy. Safety first. Slurpy, Modi. You know how Garfield hates that. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you, doggy. You're so sweet. Uh, wouldn't you like a nap? In the middle of the day? I'm not giving up, Odie. I know how to restore his memory. I thought you might be hungry, so I whipped up a little snack. I wonder what army is coming by to eat all that fattening food. But I'm not hungry. I'll just have some of these raisins. Here, at least take this lasagna. This strange person obviously went to a lot of trouble, so I don't want to hurt his feelings. I'll take a walk and maybe I'll find someone to give it to. Hello, Mr. Mailman. Such a dedicated hard worker. Why is everyone acting so strangely? And why do they keep calling me Garfield? It's such a dumb name. You're quite welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm welcome? What do you mean, I'm welcome? I just took your lasagna. And you're quite welcome to it. Eat hearty. Why? What's wrong with this stuff? Oh, no. This has got to be a trick or something. But I want you to have it. No, no, not a chance. You take it. No, please, I insist. No way. Keep your lasagna. But I don't want it going to waste. Oh, that means up to something. Come back here and eat my lasagna. Ah, I'm trapped! Now, are you going to eat this lasagna yourself, or do I have to feed you? No, oh, please! Don't make me eat your lasagna! I'm sorry I mistreated you! I'll never do it again! I... Yeah. I can't stand seeing food waste. We may have to face it, Odie. Our friend Garfield is gone forever. Please, please, you've got to eat lasagna, please. He's eating. He's eating lasagna. Garfield, are you really acting like Garfield again? <laughs> it's good to have Garfield back. Hey, I don't understand it, but sometimes you don't ask questions. You won't get away from me, Worm! Oh, hiding in the ground, huh? Well, that won't do you any good! I'm coming after you, Worm! Only one dollar. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dear Diary, Well, things have not been peaceful around here lately. Oh, some things never change. Wade, for instance. I am not afraid of you. You think I am a coward, but I laugh in your very face. 
and purr again. I will squish you like the bug you are, bug. Boo. I was just minding my own business. Help! Rescue me! Save me from whatever I need saving from! Why is everyone acting so weird? Lanolin's in a bad mood today. How can you tell? How could I tell? Well, it was pretty obvious to everyone. Get out of my way. She didn't seem to like anyone very much, especially her brother, Bo. You locked Bo out in the rain? Well, I guess a little rain won't hurt him. <laughs> you don't know Bo. His wool has a tendency to shrink. Wade helped Bo to dry out. There, all dry. Like muchas gracias, Doc. My sis has been high on the pain index lately. She sure had been. The next day, we thought she'd gotten over it. <laughs> I'm knitting you a sweater, Booker. Well, that's nice of you, Lanolin. But where'd you get the yarn? Oh, I found some. Mostly, though, she was just plain disagreeable. You sure disagree a lot. I do not. See, you just disagreed with me. No, I didn't. Okay, have it your way, like you didn't disagree with me. Yes, I did. Do you or do you not disagree with me? What do you think? Like, I think you disagree with me a lot. Well, you're wrong. I never disagree with you, so there. This kind of thing went on all day and all night. I'm not sleepy. Maybe I'll count people till I doze off. You're absolutely wrong. I wasn't thinking about anything. That's what you're absolutely wrong about. Eventually, Bo started to get the idea that maybe his sister must not want him around. And Bo, well, Bo's a pretty easygoing guy. He figured if she doesn't want me around, well, then I won't be around. Simple as that. He went way up in the hills, up to the old abandoned cabin. Oh, wait, I left something out. Before he left, he wrote a note just saying, since my sister doesn't want me around, I'm moving away. Then he left. And an hour or three later, Lanolin found the note. She was pretty broken up about it. So what? Oh, she tried to pretend like she wasn't. Hi, Lanolin. It's not my fault he moved away. Don't blame me. It was his idea. I guess the trouble with being a crab is that the image is so hard to maintain. Your turn. You miss him, don't you? No! Anyone who says no like that usually means yes. A week after Bo moved away, the wind arrived. A pretty fierce wind. Booker! Sheldon! To the cellar! The, 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 the radio says it's the biggest storm of the year. We'll be safe in here! Our Bo is up in the hills. And that old shack won't last out this storm. You can't go out there now. One side, pig! There was no stopping her. I couldn't, and I had a feeling the storm couldn't either. Come back to the farm! You really don't want me back there, sis. She told him about the storm, but you know Bo. He wasn't about to let a little thing like wind bother him. He said the only way he'd come back was if Lanolin really missed him. They got out just in time. A few moments later, the storm kicked up, and the cabin was gone with the wind. She got him back just before the full brunt of the storm hit. So you missed me, huh, sis? I didn't. Aww. Wouldn't be the same not saying your name or seeing your face once in a while. Cause everything I do turns out good because of you And on top of it all, you make me smile Cause I like having you around Wherever I'm gonna be, I want you there beside me Cause I like having you around I can do anything as long as you're around 
it was pretty happy down in that cellar while the storm was passing outside. And now the storm's gone, and Bo's back, and everything is almost back to normal. I didn't really say I missed you. I heard ya. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. 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 Correction. Did. Everything is back to normal. Didn't. Did. Did. Didn't. Did. 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 <laughs> Right, it snowed last night. I love the first snow of the year. I still love the first snow of the year. Enjoy the snow, Garfield? Okay, I'm ready for summer now. Dinner time, Garfield. Food. I ran out of your regular cat food, so I bought you the dried kind. I'm sure you know what to do with it. I certainly do. Whoa, whoa. Enjoying your cat food, Garfield? We must have it more often. Uh, hey, pal, if you're selling stuff, try that house. They'll buy anything. <laughs> Garfield. You slim. What did you buy this time? What useless overpriced piece of junk did you spend my money on? Uh, a life-size statue of Leonardo da Vinci made out of elbow macaroni? Don't tell me. You already have one? Garfield, you have to stop buying everything you see. Look what you bought this week. An indoor plastic bird bath, a 27-year supply of dental floss, a battery-operated battery changer that's only good for changing his own batteries. It was on sale. No more. Do you understand? No more. Now, I'm going out again. If you buy one thing while I'm gone, no lasagna for the rest of your life. The rest of my life. Without lasagna, that could be like tomorrow. I better do something positive and constructive. I'll watch television. Let's see what's on cable. Hmm. The all how to prepare potatoes channel. Shoestring. <coughs> Cottage fried. Boiled. Salad. Hey, this is Mashed worth $79.95 a month, isn't it? Chipped on toast. I'll try the all snail Chipped racing channel. And they're off! Well, I think they're off. Yes, it looks like wet driveway is pulling into the lead. They're neck and neck. These guys have necks. Wet driveway is out to break his previous record of three weeks, 27 days and six hours in the 18-inch slime trail. I'll try the all buying stuff channel. We're back, dear friends. We've bought magnificent, marvelous merchandise for you to buy, buy, buy. Yes, yes, yes. Our next item is this. A deluxe, chrome-plated, large capacity, hand-inlaid, designer model, laser-powered elephant repeller. Gee, I don't have one of those. Phone now. Operators are standing by to take your money. Uh, your call. If you buy one thing while I'm gone, no lasagna for the rest of your life. I wonder if John was serious. I'm serious. And remember, the first 20 callers get their relevant repellers absolutely free. Plus, I will deliver everyone in person. Free? at that customer's house. Just wait. I'm going to land the sale of the sensory. Hello, hello, hello. Herbert Finagle here, president of Finagle Marketing. Who is this person who ordered the free elephant propeller? 
You're looking at him, fella. A cat? Well, why not a cat? I'm a great salesman after all. Hello, little pussy cat! I have your free elephant repeller here. It's absolutely, totally free. Except for the $2 handling charge, the $5 delivery charge, the $9 restocking charge. Let's see, you only owe me $28, okay? Not okay. I've got to stay away from salesmen like that. Hash brown, Julian, French fried, O'Brien. And this race is really getting exciting. I never take no for an answer, especially from a cat. This snail race is even more exciting than last year's seven inch tortoise dash. Gee, this is kind of interesting. Excuse me, sir. Have you ever considered the clear and present danger of being caught in an elephant stampede? You see? Now, if I had been an elephant, well, you could have gotten rid of me with your elephant repeller. I have to hide from him. You know, there are advantages to a good elephant repeller. I wish I had a salesman repeller. I'll hide down in the basement. He'll never find me down here. If this elephant repeller doesn't work, we pay you one thousand bucks. All right, all right, enough. I'll buy it. Garfield, what piece of junk have you bought this time? It's a laser-powered elephant repeller, the best one made. There isn't an elephant within a thousand miles of here. You see how good it works? As I was saying, the guarantee is that if this device doesn't keep elephants away, we pay you one thousand dollars. Bye now! Garfield? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, some salesman heavy, and that guarantee always gets it. Imagine elephants around here. No. It can't be. No! It, no! no. Hey, Mr. Salesman, about that guarantee of yours. No! No! no I don't believe it! No! 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 Hey, I don't believe it either. But with a thousand bucks, I can buy that microwave cheese straightener. <laughs>